Hello and welcome to another Ballers Basketball Stats instructional video. Today we're going to cover creating reports. This is the game chart of a completed game. Now we're going to take all that data from that chart and we're going to make some pretty powerful reports. There are two ways to create reports. The best place to create a report is on the reports tab. It's the second icon from the right. Let's take a look at our reports picker. We have many options for reports and we're going to go through a few of them. First, just like on the game chart when recording a game, we need to set up the game insights to make sure that the events that we want to see appear on the report. Also, make sure you adjust the max visible actions slider to show the number of actions that you want to see on the court. The first report that we have is a game chart all report. This report will show all the game chart events for both teams. Make sure that you select the correct game that you want to report for. Next, we have the game chart by player report. Once you select a player from a certain team, this report will show just the game events that player committed throughout the game. We have a game stats by team and for player as well. Game stats reports shows just the text stats for either team or player for a certain game. After game stats reports, we have scouting reports by team or player. Currently, scouting reports by team isn't available, but will be released in the near future. These reports display any scouting notes made, player stats, shooting analysis, and the game chart for that player based on the game selected. After that, we have season stats by team or player. These reports will show each game in the season and the stats accumulated in those games. Next, we have shooting analysis, which displays the percentages of shooting zones by either a team or player. Our animated play reports are created using the Playmaker section of this app. This will be covered in another video. All right, let's run a report so you can get an idea of what one will look like for a completed game. Let's run a game chart all report. On the bottom of the court, there is a legend to help you identify which actions happened on the court. This report also includes the game stats report. And it also includes a play-by-play -play report. Earlier, I mentioned that there are two ways to create reports. To do this, let's go to the game chart screen. To create a port from the game chart screen, tap the actions label on the scoreboard. You can either tap View PDF Report or Email PDF Report. Let's tap View PDF Report and let's create a Game Chart All Report. Reports that are created on the Game Chart screen will only create reports for the game that is currently active on the Game Chart screen. And that's how you create reports. Any report created can also be emailed. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email us at support at e6-technologies.com.